Hey, this is Gaurav. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make effective MCQs. Please feel free to pause and look at the examples. Do effective MCQs matter? Yes, they do. MCQs can be versatile in the sense that they can assess different levels of Bloom taxonomy. MCQs can be reliable in the sense that they can be used to grade questions more objectively and more consistently. MCQs are made of two parts, the stem, which is the problem, and alternatives, which are the possible solutions. How to make STEM more effective? A STEM should be complete and meaningful on its own. A precise STEM makes for a focused learning outcome. The STEM should avoid using negative statements. This will help ensure that any incorrect response represents individual who did not know the answer as opposed to individuals who were confused by the language of the STEM. The STEM should not contain irrelevant material. This minimizes the likelihood that incorrect response will come from misunderstanding of the STEM as opposed to lack of content understanding. How do you make alternatives more effective? All alternatives should be plausible. The function of the incorrect alternative is to serve as distractor. Common student errors provide the best source of distractors. Alternatives should be homogeneous in content. Heterogeneous content can provide clues to students about the correct answers. The alternatives, all of the above and none of the above, should be avoided. This can allow a student to choose a correct answer even if they are unsure about it. A student can use partial knowledge to arrive at a correct answer. Finally, MCQs are not all good. Students can guess the answers, partial credit is not possible, and it's very hard to assess the thinking of the student. I believe well-constructed multiple choice questions can be an effective and efficient way to assess learning outcomes in spite of the disadvantages. Thank you for your time.